Hey, it's Ethan here. Right, this is a, just a quick video for you to use for your stretching, okay? Now, pre kettlebell training, I never do any static stretching, basically because when you stretch the muscles out before, a, before you're going to do an exercise or do compete in anything, guys, you let those muscles out, they don't always come back into their normal position, so you lose power in the muscles. So what I tend to do is a bit of dynamic stretching. So I'm going here just like alternate lunges, nice and steady. I'm not going too deep, and what I'm just doing, I'll just come sideways on and just open my hip flexors there, just a little bit. I'll probably do 10 or 20 of those, just to wake my legs up a little bit, guys, get these hip flexors going, and just warm my legs up generally, ready for what I'm going to do with my kettlebells. I may do a few shoulder rolls, just to loosen them out, forward and backwards, just to loosen out nothing that I hold in a static stretch position. Stretch position. I'll also grab a kettlebell, guys, as you see in your warm-ups. I also warm up using the kettlebell, so I do some swings, single swings, guys. I start nice and steady, kettlebells go nice and light, nice and low, and then I'll gradually build it up and go deeper into the swing. And I'll just use that, various little combinations, just to warm myself up. Switches my head on, it starts getting messages going from my brain, down into my arms, into my legs. It's warming all these neuromuscular pathways up, guys, for the training session ahead. So post-workout, I just keep it nice and simple, guys. Compound sort of stretches, stuff like that. So I do some simple stuff. Sometimes you feel it in your wrists. Just simply stretching my wrists out, just rotations, okay? Just rotating, taking the pressure out of those wrists, those thumbs, fingers. Maybe put my hands away from my body, just push those arms a bit, out a little bit towards me. Releasing those forearms, guys. I will then hit into a hamstring stretch. Back nice and straight, head and chest up, I tip forward from the hip and then sit back there and I'm getting a nice stretch in the top of my leg because we've been working that posterior chain up the back here guys. So I'm getting the top of my leg there, I want to get lower down, bring my toe up, a little pull on that toe. That's going to get into my calf muscle. Alternatively, if I want to get the calf muscle in a different way, put my heel into the floor. I lean forward and I turn my arms out in front of me and just separate my shoulder blades. I've done a lot of work in the top here, so I'm just separating my shoulder blades, pushing them out in front. I give you the, the rear view. So I'm stretching out the back there, guys. Back of my arms, I'm going to hit my triceps. Nice and steady, just pushing it back there. Anything overhead is going to be hitting in the back of your arms, guys. So you want to stretch those triceps out there. And then the other one. Normally hold stretches anything between 8 to 12 seconds just to stretch it back out. I do a little bit of quad stretching, grab all of some if you need to, foot back in the hand, hip forward, shoulders back. And what I'm doing here is I'm pushing that my foot back into my hand. So I'm putting some pressure back so it goes out. If I let go of it, it'll flip down towards the floor. I'm getting there right across the top of my leg and my body is nice and tall. If you want to specifically get into your hip flexors, guys, you just go down onto one knee, push that hip into the floor. Now this is good because this is getting my hip pushing straight in there. At the same time, I'm just going to spin around. So I'm getting the hip flexor on my right leg. You see there, I'm pushing my hip into the floor and then I'm getting my glute there. If you've done a bit of work through that lower part of your body, upper leg, lower back, getting the glute stretched out, guys. Okay. Another quick one, if you're getting a little bit tight in your glutes, just cross that leg over, pull it across the body. Again, glutes, nice and strong. Hold the stretches for about 8 to 10, 10, 12 seconds. Do the same on the other side, a little stretch in there. Now, you want to get your lower back, guys. There's a couple of different ways that I use. Plenty out there. I'll grab hold of a pole. Okay, take it nice and low, round my back, and pull back up that pole. Now this has got the double benefit, guys. This is separating my shoulder blades, and it's hitting my lower back. So I'm getting a stretch down the middle here, my lumbar back region, because that is going to take some work when you're going above the head on those jerks. So you want to round that back out. Another simple way of stretching that lower back out, guys, grab your cowbell. Doesn't have to be too heavy. You just put yourself down there. 
and I straight legs. Now I'm rounding my back. Normally I'm dead lift, I'm keeping a straight back. But I'm just going to let my back round a bit. Stomach's in nice and tight. And I'm just putting a little bit of pressure as if I'm lifting that kettlebell, but I'm not letting it come off the floor. And I'm going to feel that going through my lower back, upper back, and through my arms a little bit there as well, guys. And what I always do, once I put my kettlebells away, out of the way, because you're carrying them around, I want to just lengthen my body back out. So I hold, get hold of something and try and hang on it. So I've got some beams out here in the outdoor gym. I just hang off there, just let myself hang. I've got bars as well. I sometimes just take my feet off the floor and just hang out. Two reasons for this, guys. I'm stretching my arms out, stretching my shoulders out, stretching through my back, but also that hang is a workout for grip technique. But mainly it's just stretching it out, stretching my back out and my shoulders out. Hope that's been useful to you guys. Use some of those stretches. Stretch out post-workout. Warm-up dynamic stretches pre-workout. Strength in numbers.